So yes, this is yet again another haul. I don't know. I just pretty much this channel is basically about hauls. I don't. But anyway, let me start with what I'm wearing. Um, well, not this shirt, but the Kate blazer. I got like four different colors from China from an eBay seller um, because I was looking for a really long Kate blazer. Um, basically, it's a Kate coat, not a Kate blazer, and you know it's it's pretty long. And I got this in um green this color army green this color and a white and uh what other color gray i think i don't remember but anyway i got this and it's a bit i don't like how this falls because it's not really you know covering everything but when you stand up you kind of see that it's a cape coat but um i wish this was more i don't know bigger more tailored well I don't know if I'm gonna actually just give this away and like get one from a seller in the States actually but um, I do like the idea of it so then I went to a site uh, that sells faux fur really good quality faux fur this is Donna Sailors Sa Sailors Fabulous Fur it's basically um, faux fur and I always wanted to get something really pretty and glamorous like this um, the ones they sell at like Forever 21 are kind of like really bad quality looking so I wanted something really good um, and this was the best I saw and it's basically mauve I wanted this so bad to go with my um, dress I got from if you see my Ella haul you know that mauve like tank dress that is totally what I'm gonna wear with this and um, I don't know when because it's cold I'm gonna wear this one night in Paris because I don't I don't know, but let me put it on. So this is well, it's really, it's really comfy. So that's pretty much how it looks. It's really fun. I really love the idea of this. So this one, I'm definitely gonna give away because this is from a different seller. Someone, it's not the same like the other three. It's from a different seller. It's a white cape blazer, but it's not tailored right for my for me my body type um so here's the white one a black one i might keep this just i'm just not sure yet and this is the green one which looks so cute i love this it's just it just fits weird i don't know so yeah this is the one. It's really nice. I can wear this with, you know, um, like a cognac boots, like tall boots with this one. <sighs> That'll be amazing. Okay, now I'm going to jump right into sweatsuits because that's pretty much my uniform when it's the winter time. Um, I got a bunch. I should have waited when every Abercrombie was like, oh, 40% off everything. And then when Black Friday came, they had 50% off everything. And I was like, <sighs> I missed out on an extra 10%. But anyway, when he had the 40% sale, it was right before Black Friday, um, I got me a bunch of sweatsuits because this is what I love to wear when I'm in the airplane. I mean, airplane. In the airport and just traveling. So I got me a white gray and a sweater. This is like, I have the paper actually. I just don't know where I put it. Of the prices. This was like, so it was 38 for this for the sweat top. And this is normally 58 US dollars. And I got these in larges. Because you know you want to be comfy. I like the little designs and um, Abercrombie symbols they have on them. So this was described as off white. Okay, there we go. So the off white sweater was. Okay, everything is. Every sweat top and sweatpants, from what I see here, are $30, $34.80. Um, the only thing that's more than that is the quilted sweater. This is quilted, yeah. The quilted sweater and sweatpants. Um, I don't think the sweatpants are quilted, but the sweat top, the quilted Sherpa hoodie in gray, large, is $46.80. And the matching pants is... Well, it's not matching. I got a different logo zipped up black. Okay, the black hoodie is, which I'm going to show you, is $40.80. But everything else is $34.80 except for the 
black hoodie and this. This is $46.80 and the black hoodie is the $40.80. So I might as well let you know deets of what you can save on the sale. So these are the pants. These are, they're so cute. And they go with it. I just don't know why they don't advertise it like that. But anyway, these are so groovy and so soft. They're so soft. Okay. Um, so is this beautiful gray? This is pretty large. Could have gotten a medium, but I didn't know. I never bought Abercrombie sweat stuff, so I just got everything in large. Um, I could have totally gotten a medium in this. But anyway, there's jogger sweatpants is what they're called. And it feels so nice. I noticed that um, I got a few Victoria's Secret sweatsuits, um, but I feel like Abercrombie is so much better quality. Um, yeah, so this is the, the quilted. It feels so warm in there. Oh, I'm going to wear this this weekend for when I'm traveling for seven hours to Frankfurt. Um, so this is so... I can sleep, eat, do everything in this. I love how this feels. But anyway, next, I keep on talking, rambling. I got black because why not? I got black because I don't really have a sweatsuit that I could just throw on that's that can match with everything and you know I feel like black sweatsuits are what you really 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 need um so these are the matching pants I don't really have to take it all out but you know why not that's the little design they have in there it says 90 92 New York New York quality goods that's what I see in the script. Then uh, that's it for um, Bokambi. Um, now for Victoria's Secret. So I wanted to get some sweatsuits because I was traveling, traveled to Houston a couple weeks ago. And I will be traveling to Paris this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going to spend Christmas and New Year's. I'm not sure. Not New Year's. I'll be probably in Germany. But I wanted some sweatsuits so I could just easily wear. It's winter. It's going to be cold. Um, so I got this mauve one. It's pink. This is from Victoria's Secret Pink Line. And I've already worn this already and washed it uh, because um, I needed to wear it. <laughs> but um, they're pretty good. They hold up well. But I feel like if I were to get a different color, I wouldn't get this because it looks really dingy. It looks like I had it for years already. I don't really like the quality of this one but um it's cute i hope it lasts me for years the second one i got because i'm addicted to wearing gray um i got this like dark charcoal gray and it's so cute it's called uh skinny collie gate um it has pink on the thigh right there and that's how the ankle is it's a skinny and then this is the top it's like pink white and gray that is too cute and the strings and it's a hoodie of course pink and then i did go back to kate may um i got me a second bottle of that uh double wear foundation double wear what is it called hold on let me pull it out I got a second bottle of the Double Wear Estee Lauder. Um, I wear rich cocoa. It is red, but you know, I can make it work for myself. Um, I need to stop looking at the screen. I just want to see if I'm in focus. But anyway, I got me, I was dreading the fact that I did not have chestnut Uggs in my collection. So I went back and I got me chestnut, chestnut Uggs. Um, this is the, the bow one. They have two bows in the back. That is so cute. I die. Um, which one is these? These are, hmm, I don't remember, but I'll definitely look it up and I'll put it down below, but I believe these are the Bailey Bows. They're comfy, they keep me happy and warm, like they're meant to. So, yeah, looks a little bit dingy, I've worn it already a couple of times, and I love, I love the bow in the back. I'll be right back. I just need to move all the clothing stuff out of the way because I'm already done with that. Wearing this. This is what I wore to Houston. Um, but I did wear the other pink one just 
for one day I think I was running errands but this is what I wore um oops use the stains I did not watch this I have worn this but um it's the Abercrombie and Fitch in a burgundy color which you know had me dying because I love 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 that's pretty much all I can say about this jumpsuit is that the color is everything and it's so good quality it feels so nice and comfy and I could totally appreciate that and then these are like pants I got from Walmart that goes with this is basically a sleepwear like a pajama set um, from Walmart and I love Walmart because it just gives you like fun things like if I'm running out of something you can make a Walmart stop really quickly for whatever I'm looking for so time for makeup oh, I finally got the modern renaissance palette you've seen this I did two tutorials on this already I did my eyes with this and this is already up on my channel I already did a look with this already I have been waiting to get this I don't really have to show this you you guys seen this a million times and I have a video on it the only thing that bugs me is that I got it all messy so quickly the first time I freaking used it it got like marks the foundation on it and you can't clean it off it drove me crazy because i just got it but anyway um sephora gave, i'm a vib with sephora and they sent me a 20 dollar like card gift card to like use i was like what so i was like what do i really really want for sephora because i pretty much have all i pretty much want um but i was like you know i always wanted to try trooper so i got this um kat von d um mini set bow and arrow it's the lip color and then i got the trooper eyeliner as a mini version this will be perfect for when i'm traveling just put it in my makeup kit the makeup forever highlight i'm wearing it today i don't know which side i put it on again but i did a tutorial with this this is the pro light fusion the pro light fusion number two which is basically golden perfection like I'm sorry to blind you from how great this highlight is it's like beep. it's like ah. I love it it's so nice beautiful texture this is the Kat Von D locket foundation in deep 78 neutral and it's perfect match but it broke me I had bumps all around the perimeters of my face like raised bumps all over down here and I don't know because I really want to use this foundation I don't know. I really, really want to use it, even though it breaks me the hell out. Then I got the concealer that I did wear before, got before. It's Deep 33 Warm, because um, it seemed like the only match for me when I was looking at different concealers to try from this line. I was like, you know, yeah. So I'm going to keep this. I might use it again, even though it did break me out. Not the concealer, the foundation broke me out. <sighs> so mad, because I really, really want I really 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 want to use that every day okay and then I got the Becca whoa someone's calling oh this is also a new thing a new case a new phone Samsung pink gold I definitely definitely want this my mom's calling hello mm -hmm. just put New Jersey before you do anything else don't put address go straight to state and put New Jersey start from scratch and put New Jersey first she wild in she know I'm doing a video like then I got the Becca base perfection pore invisible ever matte primer ever matte poreless priming perfecter is what the name of this is okay i picked this up in full size it surely mattifies the heck out of you i got whoop whoop don't fall i picked up um saucy beverly hills foundation two new ones which i am wearing today both of them cocoa and chestnut i made sure i can't even it's hard to show small items like this I got, okay, I picked up chestnut and cocoa. I'm wearing both of them on my face. This is Anastasia Stick Foundations because I really, 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 really wanted to get a color that matched me and I got different colors that matched me. Ebony Brow Wiz because 
I don't know. I just picked it up because it's not like I need brow products. I'm wearing the brow, the powder on my eyes only for, for my duo powders. But I always use this and I always loved it. So I said, like, why not get it back up? And then, ooh, trust, issue, trust, trust Issues Liquid Matte um, Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia. I forgot I had this. So this is Trust Issues. I could totally wear this with these eyes. Like, same color same thing I love this I love this I love this huh I'm gonna use this today so I stopped at Nordstrom Rack as per usual and I saw that they had a Neutrogena eye makeup remover lotion hydrating I was like I told anyone to use this um and then I got a lipstick this is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade F bomb which is a red what's new I wear reds all the time uh, so here you go. This is the color. That's red. Okay, now I'm going to get into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Friday sale because it was crazy. As soon as it got, became 12 a.m., the site froze. It crashed so many freaking times. I had to like click. I was using my iPad and the PC to like get my life together. I, it took an hour before I could even put my order in. I bought a lot of stuff because my contour is life and I need to have as many backups as I can get. So to make this quick and not show every single product, I'll just tell you what I did get. Uh, um, you know, you see. So I got a waterproof cream color jet, which is a jet black, and I got the stable as well. I got three contour refills, and it was like this, contour refills in copper brown, I got one eyeshadow topaz, um, the contour refill in terracotta, I got two macchiatos, um, I got one eyeshadow called chiffon, then I got the cinnamon contour refill, then I got the eyeshadow intense days, then I got an eyeshadow called brownie, and then dark chocolate, and uh, I got the concealer in number six, I got the contour refill nutmeg, I got three contour refills that are that is espresso, and then I got penny metal, which is an eyeshadow, then I got chocolate, which is an eyeshadow, I got glisten eyeshadow, and the Snow Hollywood illuminator, that's pretty much it. So I'll just show you a couple. So, I got so many because I definitely need to hook up my sister, okay? Um, these are just eyeshadows. I can't even tell. This is an eyeshadow. This is a contour refill. This is brownie. I got, uh, you know, concealer. No, these, uh, this is the water creams. This is concealer. This is the um, eyeliner. Um, palette for the, you know, contour. Um, so Hollywood, which I will unbox and show you because it's absolutely gorgeous. I have none today. I mixed it with the Makeup Forever, so I can't really tell you which side is which, but this is So Hollywood. We waited a year, a year for this, a year. So when it came, I was like, can I have that please? Okay, like this is my number one. This is, when I was shopping, when everybody and their mother was on that site that made it crash, I was shopping making sure I had this like I had to go as quick as possible because I did not want this to sell out but it didn't sell out eventually it didn't but um yeah so that's I got a bunch of stuff from there also lashes sent to pro members um like a uh what do you call it they call it the lash story book they call it the lash story pro edition they sent this with their um individual false lashes so I got the three what is this? I got the La Petite single, Le Petite, and Le Petite triple, and then the Le Petite double. Uh, let me show you the books. I think it's, it's a cute idea. I mean, I have those little ones, like the little um, cases for your eyelashes, but come on, we wear a lot of eyelashes. And where are we going to start store it in? Like little cases? So this is an awesome idea. This is amazing. A great idea like kudos like because now I can just see palette and all in <laughs> but I do be losing them so this is a good idea so thank you House of Lashes for sending me this I'm just stoked to actually put my stuff in it oh let me show you this because I forgot to show it in my last haul on eBay I got me some like replicas of the Zoa brush Zoeva brushes um, because I really really loved how this case look I'm definitely gonna travel with it and it came with these brushes. So I'm just going to give you like a little once over. So it has a little bit of eye brushes. And then this big, you know, nice fluffy kabuki brush. And it's basically, I love the color of it. It's like rose. It's rose handles. 
It's showing up less pinky on the, you know, viewfinder, but they're called Rose Golden. This is so cute. This is a 104 buffer. Um, Zoeva, Zoeva 322 brow line brush. Now this one is called the Luxe Crease. This one is the 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. I'm not sure if these numbering is the same as the real Zoeva brushes, but I'm just gonna let you know. This is the 226 smudger. And this is, oh yes, this is a face paint 109. The contour with this, like cut your face. Um, this one is the 317 Wing Liner. All right, and this is uh, the 126 Lux Cheap Finish is Oliva. So these are so cute. Like I get eBay brushes, they're so cheap, um, but some of them can be like scratchy on you. But I totally got this for aesthetic reasons. They look pretty, so I wanted to get them. Um, they were cheap. They're probably like less than 20 bucks to get this. So I didn't show this during the Sephora part of the haul, but this is the Formula X nail polish. It's called Demolition. Demolition, and it's so pretty. Like the color choices are like pink, beige, blue, specks of yellow, and it's so pretty. I just want you guys to be able to see it right, but it's not, uh, it's hard to show you from this far away. But I did put it on my nails, so it's like little specks. This I'm wearing, it's like a little choker I got from eBay for like, I don't know how much, like two dollars? And it's like cloth, it's so pretty. I want to wear it with the lacy dress that I got last time. It's in my other haul. And then I got this other one. I thought I had three. Oh, one is a bracelet, one is a choker. So I got these two as well. That's cute. I'm just making sure I have everything. So, Morphe had a Black Friday sale. I missed out on it, so I was like, definitely not missing out on the Cyber Monday. We didn't know we were going to have Cyber Monday. So I checked their Instagram, it's like, oh, we have a coupon for Cyber Monday. So I was able to get 30% off, I don't remember, 25% off of their stuff. So first time in life, I purchased some mink lashes. I got the Blinkin' Beauty Samantha um, mink lashes. Um, and then I got the Shayla lashes. What is this called? I'm sure it's just called Shayla, but... No, it's called Slayla. Slayla lashes. And they're so thick and noise. Yes. Can we just put that on my eyes? It's so pretty. So Shayla, two YouTubers, repping two YouTubers, um, Samantha and Makeup by Shayla. These are beautiful. So these are the Samantha Blinking Butte Mink Lashes. <laughs> so these are the Blinking Butte Lashes in the style Samantha. And these are the Slayla um, Lashes. So you can pretty much tell the style of lashes I really love. Dramatic. <laughs> um, yeah, they're really nice. I can't wait to try the Shayla lashes because they're really fluffy and like three-dimensional. Those lashes I got from the Morphe site along with a bunch of lab of these brushes. The thing that is about these brushes is really weird because they look dirty to me because my foundation is pretty much the color of these tips. So let me show you the E2. This is the new E2. Like that's your new bristles. And this is the old um, Elite brushes. That's my foundation on it. So you can tell it looks kind of like, are these clean? But anyway, it's cute. I like it. I love the texture of these elite brushes. They're really awesome quality. Like, they feel so soft on the face. This is just heaven. Like, my sister's like, yeah. She doesn't know much about makeup, but she's like, yeah. This feels really soft on the face. So I got E2. I got me the E21. The E21. And then I got two of these babies because so these are my holy grail under powder, under eye powder brushes. This is the E8. I live and breathe and drink and eat and feed from this brush. I absolutely love it. It's awesome quality. I mean, I'm just gonna keep on saying it because they are awesome quality. This is the other E8 that I got. And then this is like a, I got this, this is E55. This, I got this especially for, you know, when you reverse um, contour, kind of like chisel out your contour. That's pretty much where I got this. Um, it feels so nice. I can't wait to get into the brushes. This is the E4. I've seen so many people talk about this, how nice it is for blush. So that's why I got this. This is the E4. And then I got the E46. Again, I can use it for underneath my eye to, you know, put on primer on my eyelid, um, buff out concealer underneath my eye. I could do a lot with this. Then I got the e E57. It's like a foundation brush. I basically use this for packing, you know, uh, skin-like. Um, eyeshadow all over my eyelid. I use this for eye work. Um, then I got another chiseler. This is the E16. It's like a curve, you know, that, that, that. 
Then I got the E23, which is just a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush. Then um, E48, yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. It feels so nice. But I have makeup on this. So I'm like, like touching my face with it. But I absolutely do love this brush. The Elite Line A+. Plus. Another neck um, choker. It's like a skinny one. Then this happened. Those of colors have their own Black Friday. So yes. I got Cork and Black Rose. Yes. So these are the two colors. Like... Tell me the same life. I love nude and I love red. I could just live with red and nude in my collection <laughs> and just toss out everything. <laughs> so, oh my god, this video is gonna be so long. I already know it. It's gonna be like 30 minutes. So, I can't, because of time's sake, I can't show all of these. But I got a bunch of new lenses. I think I got like nine new eye, eye lenses. I'm wearing one of the new ones right now. This is the Vazen. Um, the Vazen line of eye um, eye contacts. This is in the blue. Um, let me see if I get the full name of this. Oh, this one is different. I think these are the ones they gave me for free. These are like pink red. You can't really see it, but it's pink red. They're so cute. I got a bunch of cases. And I packaged it in, the, in this packaging. Um, I got green and then a four tone hazel um, lens. I can't really show you because it's hard to show lenses. Yukon, and then this is Angel Eye. This is gray. Pretty much they're gray ones. So I got backups, like four backups of my usual eye contacts that I wear. This is just the blue version of it, but the ones I wear are usually gray. I pretty much wear this in a lot of videos. Um, these are my like staple ones, so I got backups of these. Um, this is the vase in color. This is in gray. Um, this is their Basin Rainbow, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I got this in gray. These are my backups. And again, I'm wearing the blue. <laughs> I don't know if you really tell, but... Of course you can tell I'm wearing contacts. These are not my natural eyes. These are the blue ones. It's like I changed the, my eye... Like, how people change their hair color all the time, I change my eye contacts. This is just another one. This is gray. I don't know what this is. This could be a lens case for all I know. What is, do you see that? Hope you can see that. It's just a lens case. And then Melt Cosmetics because I never had anything from them. And I was just waiting for them to have a sale. And finally they had a sale and I just took advantage and I was like, time to pounce. So I got all their, all the stacks that I wanted. This is pretty much all of, I have all their stacks except for one. I have the, I showed this on Snapchat. I have the Dark Matter stack. I got the Love Six stack and then I got the Rust stack. Yeah, baby. Let me just, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this in a, eons ago. This has been out for years. Um, then I got Space Cake lipstick and then Laced lipstick. Is laced. Oh, it was like made for me. Like, oh, that color is beautiful. And then this is Space Case. It's like the OG gray lipstick, I feel like cool thing that they have ah, the only thing is that I don't want it to fall <laughs> so they separate like that they're magnetic you know how this goes but it's so cool before I drop this all on the floor and it crashes and breaks and I start crying let me just put it away <laughs> tell me this packaging isn't life this is so cute I want to like cut this out and put this on my wall I was totally do that like why not why not why not became like a standard youtuber I guess because I finally invested in a macbook um because my PC, I'm going to edit this video, probably this video. The video I need to put up this week, probably going to use it on my S8, my PC, because I know how to use that software really quickly, which is Sony Vegas. But I finally got my MacBook! And I'm so excited. I got a pink, like, cover, um, because, you know, it's cute and it's really girly. Um, so I got a 15.4 inch. I... This is a custom MacBook. Um, this cost like $3,200. I really, 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 really wanted speed because I always had a problem with that with my PC. So I was like, let me get the highest speed. I think that's like 2.8 like gigahertz or something. I'm not a tech person, so I don't really know. Um, and then I got the like medium storage, which is like five. I forgot how much the storage is. Like 500 and something. And then um, 
I forgot what else goes into it, but that's pretty much what I wanted particularly um, with this. I got coverage because this is a lot and you want to keep this coverage. So I got their um, coverage and what else? What else do I want to say about it? So I'm in the beginning phrases, phases of doing this. I actually edited, edited my last video. Um, which video was that? The first video I did with the ABH Modern Renaissance. I did it with Final Cut Pro and that took me three days. Three days because I got so tired and annoyed because I didn't know what to do, how to cut and like paste, but you know, I got I'm getting the hang of it. So maybe I'll start putting in special effects or whatever, but I'm getting a hang of it and I'm so excited. Um, yeah. So I keep the case in here still, but when I travel, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna travel with this. I'm not probably gonna have a heart attack traveling with this because it's so much and I don't want to lose it or break it, but um. Yeah, that's so that's my MacBook. And then also for also for Black Friday, I got the Beats 3 because it's insanely good. It's 40 hours of battery life. Like what? So I got the Solo 3 in Rose Gold um, to match the Beats earbuds that I do have. So I got this beautiful color, special edition. Oh, special edition. Rose Gold, sorry. Rose Gold, Solo Beats 3. And I, this has been sitting on my desk collecting dust because half of me is too lazy to actually take it out and like set it up my macbook or whatever but um i don't know if i'm going to travel with this yet because that's just another expense and i got 50 dollars off of this this is retails for 300 dollars but um i got 50 dollars off of it from best buy for black friday so um i paid 250 for this and this better be everything worth every penny i hope so i believe so so that's why i got it Lush is awesome. Um, I got this from a GNZ just to help with appetite and um, exercising. This is called the Stim Free Non Stimulant Thermogenic Fat Loss Appetite Management Positive Mood. So, this is basically like a aid for you know, weight loss or whatever. These are from the spa I went to. These are like candles. Yeah. This. Oh. So I got the, this one. I can't, I do not know the name, so sorry. Um, this one is Angel on Bare Skin. This is a face and body cleanser. Um, I just told them my problems. They say basically I take a chunk of this and I run out of the water. And I, you know, exfoliate with it. Um, let me see. This is a face and body cleanser again. This is Herbalism. So... I forgot why I got these, but they look really nice. So this is like green. I got a shower gel. It's raining men. <laughs> it said I want something that's, you know, vanilla-y. Really nice. Mmm. I got a bunch of bath bombs. <sighs> it smells so good. It's like... I can't even describe it, but this is how it looks. <laughs> this is my second time going to Lush. No, I didn't get this before, but I saw it and I had to have it. Look how cute that is. And look at the gold port of it. Tell me that's not a perfect highlight. Like, can I rub it off as a highlight? Can I? Can I? <laughs> and this one is, it was just, it looked like a poop emoji. <laughs> Next, oh my god. Look at this. It's like all types of fun. It's, I think they said the body, your, well obviously your body will, will shimmer with glow. Oh. Sorry I had to have a moment there because it, it was it looks all types of amazing. Uh, this is like a white star. It smells refreshing that's why I got it. I got I swear this says, what does it say? It says something dust. Holy shit, I don't know. Lol dust, I'm not sure. Bath bomb, uh, that was $5.25. And then I got the brazen, I'm sure, I'm not sure. This probably says bra dragon, sorry. Dragon's egg ballistic, which was $6.25. Then I got the sunny side new, 2015, which is $10.95. And then I got the pepping Santa bubble bee, which is $6.95. Then I got the buffy small, 95 grams. Um, that was $12.95. And then I got the floating island bath. M, um, the, it's three dollars or something. The price rubbed off. Um, then I got the floating island. Oh, I already said that. And then I, and I got it's raining men 100 milliliter. That's the shower gel. That was nine dollars and ninety five cents. And some other things. 
I don't know what that is, but on the other side it says eighteen dollars for Angel on bare skin, and then Herbalism was eighteen dollars. So the total was ninety two. I got this one else in Philadelphia. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Whoops. Totally knocked you out. Have to wait for it to stop shaking. But this came um, by Amazon overnight because um, I travel on Monday. Today is Friday. Um, and I needed some suitcases. I was tired of borrowing my mom's. Um, when I looked on Amazon, they had this Zion von Furstenberg, Furstenberg um, a suitcase, which is like vintage inspired. It looks so pretty, but I was like, I don't feel like spending $400 on a suitcase. That's going to get all messed up and scuffy. So, I got something like it. This was $200 for this. This is the side of it. Um, this is the front. Ooh. This is the second suitcase. This is uh, an Asami color by Kemier. K-E-M-Y-E-R. So... It's a huge one. I made, I made sure to get a large because I want everything to fit in here when I travel out of the country. <laughs> this is like a, like a, um, I was watching YouTube and it was showing like little gadgets that steal like open chip bags. You can re factory reseal it. So I was like, oh, why not get this? So I just picked the random one off of Amazon. It's not working by the way. Like, I don't know why, but probably the batteries, but that's pretty much it. I was so scared. Basically, you have to move this to the side, like that, to unlock it. So now it's unlocked. And, ooh, this is the inside. It's so cute and vintage. Um, those are the other boxes I have to unbox. And this is like a little case. Oh, you are too cute. Get out of here. The cuteness is too much. Okay. Aww, and this is a little version with a little strap. This could be my purse actually. And this is like a strap that goes around it. This is too cute for words. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. So that's it actually. That's the end of my haul. See you guys in another time. <laughs>